what is going on youtube today i have an awesome video for you guys this is the slim bolt action pen by big idea design or big design big eye design let's take a very quick look at the boxage here on the back you will see everything that this comes with works with ballpoint and roller ball style refills so going to be compatible with uh, quite a big amount of refills as you can see here there is a full list at bigideadesign.com or bigidesign.com whatever you see it you see it designed in chattanooga tennessee when i saw chattanooga i thought this was going to be in like Zambodia or some crazy thing. I did not know Tennessee had a Chattanooga. Internal refill length adjustment tool included. So it looks like that is going to be about it. So let's get right into this. Alrighty. Looks like it just slides out. Okay, it does not just slide out. Looks like we got some stickers. Didn't come prepared with the unboxing knife. Alright, single sticker. Let's go. Ooh, baby. Okay, before we get into that, let's see if there's anything else. This looks like it's something. Oh, you got some accessories here. Oh, I believe this is a Damascus little nib for the bolt action little mechanism on the pin. Spare parts. It is very nice that they do give you spares for the different mechanical portions that could go bad on this looks like some o-rings and a spring this looks like the refill tool i believe that is it looks like we got some documentation all right looks like we'll need to go to the youtube to figure out how to refill this bad lip mamma jamma and little thank yous. I believe this might be a sticker or just a piece of cardboard. Let's get to... Oh boy. This has a very, very nice like weight to it. Let me get it out of the wrapper real quick. Huzzah! So this absolutely feels very weighty and premium. Decided to go with copper uh, just because of the patina factor on this. You guys know I am a sucker for all things that patina. You have a little titanium branding clip there which feels very premium. All around this thing feels super nice. Alright. Oh, that's a very satisfying bolt action. Wow. Now, before I start giving my thoughts on this and start going a little too deep, just for a little background, you know, I work in an environment where I can't necessarily bust out an iPad Pro and take notes at times, like I'll have to have a notebook and pen. So I do use a pen on a daily basis. I also go down the EDC, Reddit, subreddit, like rabbit holes and I've fallen in love with these fancy pens now I have seen a lot of these pens in like a very thick version of this which is why I really enjoy the slim 
factor of this because even though it's a little chunkier than a normal pen it's still very slim and like manageable yeah so before any kind of fancy pen I was rocking with the good old zebra pen and then I decided if I could get this right in the rain tactical pen I forget what it's called and not lose it then maybe I would upgrade my EDC I think this pen was like 15 20 dollars but I have come to love this pen but it was it was finally time to go big boy EDC pen style here and personally for me if you journal on the daily if you just use a pen or something of that nature like a pencil a tool that you use consistently throughout the day why not you know make it something that is a joy to use and pick up while you do it which is what I tell myself to justify this hefty purchase okay now I believe it is time to bust out the handy dandy notebook So first, let me just see what it feels like to write with this zebra pen. I'm just going to do a simple sentence. The dog ran. All right. So far, everything feels normal. Here is the right in the rain pen. And I'll have a link to all these pens down in the description below, by the way, just in case you're curious. As you can see, this is my daily driver. Looks like it is almost in need of a refill. And honestly, I kind of liked how the zebra wrote a little better. But time to get the placebo effect in of just how beautiful this is. I already feel like I'm going to like this more. Wow. It, it is crazy, like the pure weight of this pen, it just feels like it does the writing for you. I don't know if that is me just being uh, an insane person wow whatever like stock uh, cartridge they use in here so smooth this is like the nerdiest thing that I've nerded out on on this channel is <laughs> right now is writing with a pen now it doesn't make me write any prettier but boy does it feel good to write with and I do not think you can just unscrew this oh wait yes you can all right and you can see in there that is where that spring goes and here is where the o-ring goes so if you do need to replace it with your spare parts and that is where that is going to end up looks like it comes stock with a schmidt refill p900m made in germany and i really do like this right off the bat and up here it looks like you can use this tool if you'd like to replace this little nib or does this nib just unscrew yes it does interesting you know just to be a little extra for the youtube channel for for you guys let's get the little damascus nib out it in. 
so what do you guys think does it look better with the damascus nib or with the copper i'm going to leave the damascus because i think it really does make it stand out all right time to reconstruct this oops so that was pretty easy peasy and i gotta say i do like how the Damascus is looking with that titanium and the copper. It, oh boy, this is, <laughs> this is like, this is too nice of a pen for me. I feel like I need to start getting into calligraphy in order to use this thing to its full potential. Well, what do you guys think? I think this is a pretty solid upgrade for me personally. Would you guys want to purchase this? Do you guys think that these fancy pens are a bit too much? Or do you think it's a staple in your EDC? Let me know in the comments down below. That's all that I have for you guys today. I hope you appreciated and liked this video if you did sub comment all blah 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 all that good stuff appreciate you guys stopping by and i'll catch you in the next one later